There's a chill in the air. You look up. Drifting down is a delicate white speck. You reach out to catch it, but alas, the heat from your finger melts it. You feel the cold water droplet run down your palm. Today, we're going to build a snowman of facts about a chilly subject. It's cold, fascinating, and brings so much excitement for people in winter climates. It's snow! Whether you're a fan of snowball fights, cozying up inside during a blizzard, or just admiring how the world transforms under a blanket of snow, there's so much to discover about this amazing part of nature. Let's start by answering the most basic question. What is snow? Snow is actually made of ice crystals that form when water vapor freezes high up in the atmosphere. These tiny ice crystals group together and fall to the ground as snowflakes. Depending on temperature and moisture levels, these flakes can take on all sorts of shapes and sizes. Some look like delicate stars, while others might just look like simple plates or columns. It's incredible that every snowflake is unique, formed with a different structure based on the conditions around it. Now you might wonder, why is snow white? Technically, ice and snow are translucent, not white. Snow appears white because of how it reflects light. When light enters snow, it scatters and reflects off of the many ice crystals, bouncing all around and until it eventually reflects back out. This scattering effect is what makes snow look bright white to our eyes. In some cases, like with freshly fallen snow under sunlight, it might even sparkle. Let's talk about how snow forms. For snow to fall, there needs to be both cold temperatures and moisture in the air. When these conditions are just right, snow crystals start to form around tiny particles in the air, like dust or pollen. Once they form, they grow by collecting more ice. This makes them heavier and heavier until they eventually start falling to the ground. If it's too warm near the surface though, these ice crystals can melt before they hit the ground, turning into rain. And that's why you might see snow changing into rain or sleet on milder winter days. What about different types of snow? Snow might look similar at first, but depending on the temperature, wind, and humidity, it can have different textures and consistencies. Powder snow is fluffy, dry, and usually great for skiing and snowboarding because it's so soft. Then we have wet snow, which is heavier because it has more moisture. Wet snow is usually what people use for building snowmen since it sticks together easily. There's also packed snow, which has been compressed either by people walking on it, cars driving on it, or by wind. Packed snow can be very dense and it's hard to shovel. Snow plays a huge role in nature and ecosystems. Snow acts as an insulator for plants and animals during winter. When snow covers the ground, it creates a barrier that traps heat keeping the ground below warmer than the air above. This insulating layer can help certain plants survive the winter and even protect some animals. Small creatures like mice or voles make tunnels beneath the snow where it's warmer and they're sheltered from predators. Have you ever heard of the term albedo? Snow has a high albedo, which means it reflects most of the sunlight that hits it. This reflectiveness keeps temperatures lower, especially in the polar regions. When large areas are covered with snow, like in the Arctic, they reflect a lot of solar energy back into space, which actually helps regulate the Earth's temperature. As the Earth is warming up, much of the snow and ice has melted. There's less reflectiveness, which means more heat is absorbed by the Earth. This can make global temperatures even hotter. Speaking of snow reflecting light, did you know that it can hurt hurt your eyes? Snow blindness is a painful condition that occurs when the eyes are overexposed to ultraviolet rays reflected off of snow and light. The intense reflection of UV light can damage the cornea, leading to a painful sunburn of the eye's surface. Symptoms often include redness, blurred vision, excessive tearing, a gritty sensation in the eyes, and sensitivity to light. Because snow reflects up to 80% of UV rays, spending time outdoors in snowy conditions, especially at high altitudes, significantly increases the risk of snow blindness. Wearing UV blocking sunglasses or goggles with side protection is crucial in preventing this condition, allowing you to enjoy snowy landscapes without compromising eye health. Some parts of the world are known for their heavy snowfall, creating stunning winter landscapes and unique environments. Japan's northern regions, like the city of Aomori, are some of the snowiest inhabited places on Earth, with an annual average of nearly 300 inches of snow, thanks to cold Siberian winds and moisture from the Sea of Japan. North America also 
sees impressive snowfall. Places like Mount Baker in Washington regularly receive over 600 inches in a season, while upstate New York's Tug Hill Plateau and areas around the Great Lakes experience intense lake effect snowstorms. In Europe, the Alps are famous for their snowfall, providing ideal conditions for skiing and winter sports. These high snow regions not only support winter tourism, but also impact local ecosystems, water supplies, and seasonal activities. Speaking of snow-covered regions, let's talk about blizzards and snowstorms. A snowstorm happens when there's a large amount of snowfall, but a blizzard adds another layer of intensity. To be classified as a blizzard, a snowstorm needs to have strong winds, usually over 35 miles per hour, and very low visibility for at least three hours. Blizzards can be incredibly dangerous, with roads and infrastructure freezing over and the wind making it feel much colder than it actually is. Many communities prepare for these storms by stocking up on supplies and using equipment like snow plows and salt trucks to keep roads safe. Now, did you know there are places in the world where people rely on snow as a water source? In regions like the western United States, snow melt is crucial for providing drinking water, irrigation, and even energy through hydropower. Snow accumulates on its mountains in winter and slowly melts in the spring and summer, feeding rivers and reservoirs. If there's a low snowfall year, it can lead to water shortages later on. And let's not forget the fun part of snow. Snow brings so much joy, especially for kids and adults who love to play in it. Activities like sledding, snowball fights, and building snow forts are favorites for many people. In some cultures, people even have snow festivals with snow sculptures, ice carvings, and winter sports competitions. One of the most famous is the Sapporo Snow Festival in Japan, where artists create huge, intricate sculptures entirely out of snow and ice. It's truly amazing to see how snow can transform into art. Do you like to play in the snow? Let me know what you like to do in the comments below. Personally, I don't really like to play in snow because it is cold, but I think it looks beautiful in pictures. Want to know something funny about snow? It can sing! But before I explain, please take a moment to hit the like button. Liking, commenting, and subscribing helps me to keep creating videos. Thank you, and let's talk about singing snow. When conditions are just right, snow can make squeaky sounds when you walk on it. This happens when the snow is compacted underfoot, and it's actually more likely in extremely cold temperatures. The sound is caused by friction between the snow crystals, creating that squeaking noise. If you've ever walked outside on a cold, snowy day, you might have heard it. As magical as snow can be, it also comes with challenges. Heavy snow can disrupt transportation, damage power lines, and even cause roofs to collapse if it piles up too much. It's important to stay safe in snowy weather by dressing warmly, avoiding travel if roads are icy, and making sure your home is prepared for the cold. Hypothermia is a dangerous condition that can occur when the body loses heat Heat faster than it can produce it, causing core body temperatures to drop to unsafe levels. Snowy environments and exposure to cold, wet conditions are key risk factors for hypothermia, as prolonged exposure to snow or sub-zero temperatures rapidly drains body heat. Common symptoms include intense shivering, confusion, slurred speech, and lack of coordination. As the body's temperature continues to drop, shivering may stop, and individuals can experience drowsiness or disorientation. Hypothermia can be life-threatening if untreated so it's essential to dress in layers, stay dry, and seek shelter if symptoms arise. Proper preparation, including wearing insulated clothing and limited time in extreme cold, can help prevent hypothermia in snowy conditions. A snowflake usually has six sides, which is a defining characteristic of its structure. This hexagonal shape forms because of the way water molecules bond together when they freeze. Each water molecule has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And when these molecules freeze, they arrange themselves in hexagonal lat lattice pattern. This arrangement causes snowflakes to form with six symmetrical branches, giving them their signature six-sided shape. While the exact pattern of each snowflake can vary, all snowflakes share this basic six-sided symmetry due to the molecular structure of ice. This unique property is what makes snowflakes so distinct and beautiful, as no two snowflakes, though they share their symmetry, are exactly alike. Some famous snowstorms in history have left lasting impacts on cities and regions, both for their intensity and disruption they caused. Here are a few notable examples. The blizzard of 1888 is also known as the Great Blizzard. This was one of the most powerful snowstorms in U.S. history. It struck the northeastern U.S. and parts of Canada dumping up to 50 inches of snow in some areas. The storm killed more than 400 people and paralyzed major cities like New York and Boston. 
The storm of the century, also known as the Superstorm of 1993, was a massive snowstorm that affected the eastern U.S. from March 12th to March 14th, 1993. It brought blizzard conditions, extreme cold, and heavy snow, with some areas receiving 30 inches. A massive snowstorm struck Washington, D.C. in February 2010, dropping up to 10 inches of snow in some places. This storm was called Snowmageddon and caused widespread power outages, canceled thousands of flights, and paralyzed the capital for days. These snowstorms are memorable for their sheer scale, impact on daily life, and the challenges they pose to communities and infrastructure. This has been a simple glimpse into the fascinating world of snow. It's so much more than just frozen water falling from the sky. Snow plays an important role in our environment, culture, and even the water cycle. Next time it snows, take a moment to really appreciate the beauty of each snowflake and think about all the science behind this winter wonder. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed learning about snow, please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like more content like this. Let me know in the comments if you have any fun snow stories. Parents and teachers, if you are teaching about snow, make sure to check the link in description for my educational resource. Thank you for watching and don't forget to get messy and make lots of mistakes today. Bye!